Can you hear me now? If you can hear me, Crystal, can you hear? No, I can hear you from right downstairs. My phone's on right now. Can you come and tell where his? Um... Look at it real quickly, yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, that's microphones on, guys. We're having. Wait, I hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yep. Everybody, hear me now. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, hallelujah. All right, so welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that. As you know, I am not the most technically sophisticated individual. However, okay, so as I was saying, we are at 95% um, growth on Carnival Cruise Lines, and I want to get to 100% growth. We've got until the end of the month, and if we get to 100% growth by the end of the month, I will personally give out a $1,500 Carnival Cruise credit to an Evolution agent. And I will select one of those agents at random from anyone that booked in the first quarter on Carnival Cruises. So if you book a Carnival Cruise between now and the end of next week, uh, the end of this month, I will provide a $1,500 uh, certificate and I will give it away as a sweepstakes drawing. And again, uh, the more you book in the first quarter, the more uh, chances you will have in that sweepstakes drawing. It will be a random drawing, and everyone that has a Carnival Cruise booking in the first quarter will have a chance to win that. And I will make that announcement on my call after the end of the first quarter in early April. Um, we are doing really well with Carnival. We're doing almost 100%. Uh, growth with Apple, Expedia, we're up 100%. In fact, the growth in the travel sales is greater than the growth in recruiting, and the growth in recruiting is huge. You guys are doing outstanding at recruiting, and you're doing outstanding at, at, uh, at travel sales. Uh, I just previewed some videos today that uh, are part of the marketing initiative that I talked about and I've been talking about earlier. Uh, what we're going to do is we've produced three videos. One's a, a cruise booking video. One is an all-inclusive vacation and tropical location video. And the third one will be a group cruise video. And each one of those videos for a very small fee, I believe it's going to be $9.95, uh, you could personalize it and we'll put your name, we'll put your phone number and your email on each of the videos so that you can send it out to all your friends and family and have a personalized video. There'll be a regular video that you can send out and you can just send that out for free. But if you want it personalized, it'll be $9.95 because it takes us about 15 to 20 minutes on each video to uh, put in the applicable uh, phone number, email address, etc. Also, what we're going to do is if you want to have a video at the end of the video, if you want to have your own little video segment at the end of these advertising or marketing videos, you'll be able to say, hi, my name is Ron Archer and I am your Evolution Travel Agent and I can help you book this cruise or a great vacation. Give me a call at, so you can record on your own cell phone and submit it to us and we'll splice that into the end of the video. And I don't know exactly. I know we're going to charge $9.95, and we, depending on how long it takes us to upload the vignette at the end of your video, it'll probably be $19.95. It may be a little bit less than that. And if we get a lot of people that do order it, uh, then uh, the cost will come down. But again, we, we are producing videos that you'll be able to distribute for free. Uh, whether on your Facebook page or your emails or whatever. We'll also do videos that will have your personalized contact information. And then a, a, the third video is where you can put on your own uh, taped recorded message uh, with your your own voice, your face, etc. cetera. So um, like I said, we've got a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, Carnival sales are up. Everybody's sales are up. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited and I'm really impressed. I will post all of this information for the videos and the Carnival Sweepstakes tomorrow in uh, the Travel Cafe and also in uh, 
in my Facebook Live as well as the Archer Travel Facebook Live. Um, and by the way, for the Founders Council, um, if you guys would get in contact with me, that would be really good because uh, we want you to help us with some input on these marketing videos. Okay, so um, given my little technical difficulties here with the sound, sorry about that. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, um, have at it. I'm, I'm here for you, and uh, my time is your time. Let's see, do we have any comments here? Uh, oh, here's, by the way, let me give you some more updates since I forgot to give them to you. Um, Puerto Rico. So I went to the uh, Sheriff's Department on Friday and part of what I had to do for the licensing in Puerto Rico is that I had to get a background check to make sure that there were no wants or warrants and that, that I wasn't a criminal. And uh, I got that back and, and I'm happy to say that um, I will not be going to jail anytime soon, that uh, my background is totally clear and we'll be submitting that down to the Puerto Rican government. Uh, also, uh, I got my passport photos. So we are down to most of the requirements, uh, the paperwork for the Puerto Rico office. Uh, we have uh, we have secured office space in uh, Old San Juan, Puerto Rico, and I am now in the process of trying to find an administrative person that is going to work out of the Puerto Rican office. So Puerto Rico is uh, is doing well, and um, they will be open. Um, Oh, as soon as I find someone, um, we'll be able to to get open. Uh, we've submitted most of the paperwork, and I'm waiting for a response back to the Puerto Rican Tourism Company. Um, as far as Australia goes, um, I will be going to Australia on April the 18th. I will get there on April the 20th, and then on April the 20, on the rest of April the 20th, when I get there, I'm going to go to sleep because um, that's a 17-hour flight, and I will be tired. Um, so I leave on a Thursday. I get there on a Saturday. Sunday is Easter, uh, so I am going to take that time to possibly uh, attend a service in, uh, Port, in uh, uh, Sydney, Australia, where the office will be. And then on Monday, uh, I will start interviewing for the administrative assistant that will be in our Australia office. Australia doesn't require licensing in the manner in which Puerto Rico does. But one of the things and what I'm going to be doing down there is I will be securing office space and I will be, um, I'm advertising for administrative personnel in Sydney as we speak. Uh, and when we hire someone, uh, we will begin to, uh, to sign up with all the suppliers that are based in the South Pacific and we will have a lot more suppliers for Australia, New Zealand area in which to book. Uh, we'll also be setting up a separate corporate structure and a separate bank account so that all the travel in the uh, Australian area will be in Australian dollars. Uh, in addition to that, um, one of the things that we've got to do is, um, I lost my train of thought, let's see. In Australia, we don't have a lot of requirements for licensing down there but we will have uh, some requirements for the bank account and the merchant account and, and, and these types of things. And then uh, once we get these secured, we will go about building an identical website, uh, a replicatable website for the Australian agents, uh, very similar to the website that we have for all the US-based agents. Um, and it will be uh, directly uh, related to the suppliers in that area. Can't really build that website, until we know who the suppliers are going to be. But it will be very simple uh, and it'll be very straightforward, much in the same way. Uh, also, there'll be Air Hotel Car that will be offered in Australian dollars as well. So let's see, so we've covered Carnival, we've covered the sweepstakes. Um, so now, now it's time for your questions. And Deanna Allen, uh, Do I have an update on the Evo flights, cruises, and parts of the rewards? Um, you're going to need to call the office, Deanna. I don't know where you're located. Um, 
if you're having a problem with uh, the Evo, well, if it's if it's Evo Rewards, uh, that is not an Archer Travel product. That is an outside vendor that has been secured by Evolution, uh, and is an Evo. It's a discount travel program that is not uh, commissionable, and therefore it's not part of of the Archer Travel program. Um, it was a free service that was provided to um, Evolution agents. So um, if you want to send me an email about that, I can get in touch with uh, Evolution and find out if there's any glitches going on with Evolution rewards or the Evo rewards, I should say. If it's the air hotel car booking engine that we have on our website, that's a different issue. And send me an email on that and I can, I can get that taken care of pretty quickly. Uh, been using FunJet, but heard but had a but heard a hard time with them today. They gave me the wrong information. I usually call them; and it's probably two hour hold or call back. I'll be calling them tomorrow again, guys. Unfortunately, um, if you're not going to go through Vax vacations for FunJet, uh, this is the time of year where there's a lot of people getting ready for summer bookings, and you're going to find, regardless of who you're calling, that. Um, uh, you're going to get on hold times that are going to be longer than normal. Um, I think that, or I believe that we have a special 800 number for Evolution um, into FunJet. Uh, if you send me an email on that, I will forward that to Marcos. And if we don't and we still have long hold times, that's something that that's not going to be good for them as well, and they will address it. So if you if you guys are out there having problems, with hold times, send me an email with the phone number in which you're calling, and I will address that directly with the salespeople at FunJet. Uh, Christina Rosario of a private connection who owns a luxury car service who's interested in being a vendor for us. Who do I talk to and look further into this? Send my contact information directly to your vendor and I will speak to them personally. Um, just give me, uh, you know, send them my phone number, my, my work number at 818-236-4250 or you send them my email at rarcher at archertravel.com and then I will speak to uh, your connection directly. Um, it's going to depend on where they're located, what their rates are, if they're commissionable, if they have insurance uh, at the proper insurance levels for their car service, if they're licensed and bonded in the particular geographic area in which they're located. There's quite a bit that goes into it, and we want to make sure that all the people that we would send to him would be protected. Um, and you know, I never thought about this much before, but the last year when Jill and I were coming home from a, a trip, we got rear-ended on the uh, freeway here in downtown Los Angeles. Didn't hurt us, didn't have any problem, but did quite a bit of damage to the car, and uh, uh, I stopped using the car service because I never even got an apology from the owner of the company. Uh, there was no concern about uh, our well-being. There was no, gee, I'm really sorry. There was no compensation. It took, you know, an hour, you know, get the police support and all that stuff. So, you know, we're very concerned about this. Uh, Want to make sure everybody's taken care of. Uh, credit card authorization forms, electronic issues, any update? Credit card authorization forms are still not ready. Uh, we're still using the other form. We have not been able to get the dual authentication done yet. That's proving to be a bit more uh, cumbersome, Nina. But we are still using the same authorization forms that we're using for FunJet. Um, as far as uh, authorization forms coming from other, you know, people are using other electronic programs. As you know, FunJet's the only ones that we require. I should say Mark Travel and Apple Vacation, Apple Leisure Group suppliers are the ones we require. Uh, everything else is, is to protect you and your customer base. So if you're collecting credit card forms, um, but we're not making that mandatory yet for anything other than uh, Apple Leisure Group, FunJet, uh, et cetera. Uh, let's see. Uh, will Advanced Direct profitability, profit agility, profit agility training be posted in the Travel Cafe? Yes, uh, I will make a note of that. Uh, they want 
they really want to help you guys out. Uh, you could set your own commission structures. Um, you really, you know, we should be booking a lot more of the Advantage Direct product. Uh, the commission upgrades on that. You guys can set your own commission structure. You can do your own markups. It's a great program, and I don't think we're getting near the utilization. So I will contact uh, Advantage Direct, and we'll post the training programs in the Travel Cafe. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, guys, don't send me any messages on Facebook. I don't, I, I don't uh, do messages on Facebook well. Um, I don't, I, 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 email is the best way to get to me or pick up the phone and call. Let's see. Okay. Jen, I'm looking forward to meeting you guys in Australia as well. Uh, Eileen. Which phone number? Oh, by the way, does everybody know that we have an Australia 800 number now? Uh, that's uh, toll free from Australia. Um, it should be in the travel cafe. I'll make sure it's there. As far as the rest of the phone number, by the way, guys, if you ever want to call Archer Travel, the 800 phone number is easy 1 800 A R C H E R S. 1 800 Archers gets you right to the front desk. Um, Oh, by the way, the other thing I'm concerned about, the other thing I'm wondering about, currently we are open on Saturdays from 9 a.m. till 2 in the afternoon to help EBO agents out with bookings, with other issues that come up. We get very few uh, contacts on Saturday. If it's not something that's needed, then, uh, you know, I don't want to spend the extra money to keep staffing uh, open on Saturdays. So, you know, we're still testing it. And if you guys want us open on Saturdays, you know, then, uh, you know, pass the word around that we're open on Saturdays. I, I think that uh, you'll see in the back office that uh, it might be an old post, but uh, let everybody know that we are open on Saturdays as well. Yeah, 45-minute wait on uh, suppliers right now, guys, is terrible. Um, try to get your Vax Vacation bookings uh, or your online bookings through Expedia. Try to get that as much as possible. Uh yeah, it uh, it can be it can be time it could be time consuming. Let's see. Uh, oh, hey Ron, any word on the issues with the credit card authorization? Okay, I'm not aware of what the issues are with the credit card authorization form. Some agents reported that there's their form is no longer on their websites. Others say they've not been able to complete it. Okay, I will have that looked into immediately tomorrow. Um, as you know, uh, Kirk, the programmer, is leaving at the end of this week, although we have hired a very strong and a new uh, programmer, so Kirk has been replaced. He'll be spending the next couple of days training that person, so if there's issues with the credit card authorization form, that'll be a great, uh, a great first start that we can put some time and energy in and make it sure. Um, I was not aware of that until this call, guys. So if you've got credit card pro problems or credit card authorization problems, uh, send me out an email and let me know. Uh, do I need to call you about the trial club? They do commissions and they are a luxury villa. If they're paying you commissions and based on our IATAN number, um, they're not a, you know, they're not a, a supported supplier, but if you wish to use them, you are certainly able to do that. Uh, we don't cut anybody off from suppliers unless we have some sort of uh, fraud problems or, or customer service issues. I'm not familiar with them, uh, but if you're doing luxury villas, then, uh, and they're a, a, a viable supplier for you, uh, go for it. But again, I would check and see if they are, uh, U.S. tour operator, U.S. TOA licensed, and if they also have um, uh, California seller of travel, uh, Florida seller of travel, you know, take a look at their websites and, um, you know, and and just vet them out and see. Uh, hey, Archer, how do I feel about Travel Joy? Uh, they have a credit card authorization form. I am, I have no feeling about Travel Joy. Um, I have not heard of them, um, so I, I, I can't comment on that. Uh, if you want to send me a link on that in an email, our Arch at Archer Travel, I'll certainly take a look. Um, again, I'm not aware that Fair Grabber has a problem, but again, I will 
Uh, I will contact Fair Grabber and find out what that is. Traveling beyond, uh, what about Fair Grabber? Uh, again, I wasn't aware there's a problem. Currently working with Summit Tour for my Cuban travel for uh, Didron Blanc. Um, I, I am not aware of what the Cuban situation is right now. We don't have a lot of call for Cuba. Uh, it's not something um, that, uh, you know, I, that would be totally on you. I, 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 I think the, the, the rules and regulations for Cuba, I, 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 I really, I'm not clear on those. Um, I know that, you know, if you want to go to Cuba, go on the cruise lines. Um, I would not personally do a tour. I don't know the tour operators down there, uh, but there we go. Um, da -da -da -da. What else have we got here? Sorry, guys. I'm, I know I'm running through this real fast. Uh, is there a different rate? Uh, there are single and double rates. Um, there is, uh, I'm not sure, Evolution controls the, uh, the cost of the convention. I know it's gone up to 249 And I don't know, you know, uh, what, if they have a rate for, uh, guests that are not attending. I, I, I don't, at this point, I don't know of a separate rate. Uh, we can certainly uh, investigate it, but if they're going to be going to the dinners and the, and the other uh, programs, then uh, I think that uh, they're probably going to keep the same rate. Oh, you, uh, okay. Thank you for letting me know about the Australia 800 number. I'm glad it's working. Um, 800 archers and a live person does answer. And if it, a live person doesn't answer, then uh, we're doing something wrong. Let's see. Call on Saturdays. Keep those guys busy. Make them, make them earn their keep. Uh, don't forget we're open on Saturdays. We can help you. Let's see. Okay, so when registered for suppliers in the Travel Cafe, Expedia Tap is not listed. Um, Expedia Tap has its own uh, sign-up program. So um, you send a supplier request form into the office, but I would call the office. Uh, I know Jose was out today. He was having a procedure, a, a dental procedure done. Uh, but call the office tomorrow, and they can help you get on with Expedia Tap. Uh, let's see. So here's the problem. Thank you, Julie McIntosh, for letting us know. So uh, a lot of the old suppliers uh, still have our old address listed. And so what we've done is we've notified CLIA, we've notified ARC, we've notified IATA, and it just takes the suppliers time to update their databases. Um, also, we have change of address, address forms still. Uh, from the suppliers. So we are getting all the mail that is coming in. Uh, we're getting all the commissions. There's no diminished in that. In fact, it's picked up. And, you know, we've notified in every manner that is normal. Uh, you know, we had to file with uh, ARC and IATA and CLIA so that they could notify all of the vendors of our new address. Um, and if you get a chance, let them know they need to upgrade their database or update their database. Um, we've done everything we can short of calling everybody, but even when we do that, when we know, we, we tell them to change it. But even still, you know, their res department and their, and their uh, IT people don't always talk as well. So unfortunately, it takes a little bit of time, but uh, I can tell you that it's progressing. Uh, let's see. Yes, the, the hotel blocks are up on Facebook, and the convention is booking up nicely. Uh, let's see. Jeffrey Stephen is being thanked by William Anderson for his outstanding leadership. Uh, Jeffrey Stephen, Stefan, 
Keep up the great work, pal. When you get kudos from uh, Evolution agents, feel good about it. That means you're doing something right. And by the way, recruiting is going great and travel sales are going great. You guys are hitting on all eight cylinders right now. You're fired up and things are going great. Uh, let's just keep it going. Uh, hello to my friends that are out there that have joined us. Thank you for those telling me I look marvelous. I feel marvelous. Life is good. Um, Tony Evans, I get into Orlando about 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock Thursday night. Um, folks, we are not currently really looking to recruit in Europe right now. Uh, we're really concentrating on the USA first. And then, of course, Australia and, and Puerto Rico. I really want to, you know, I, I, I don't want to sell evolution to people that are going to have a hard time being able to tra sell travel suppliers. That's just not fair to them because they're going to end up paying the same amount of money. It's just going to be a real tough road for them. So I really want you guys to focus in on, on those areas that we're really dialed in with right now. And it's all about great customer service. It's all about great supplier relationships really want to keep you guys focused in growing those areas. Uh, fair grabber's not working. I will address that. Um, our hours for Saturday, 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Okay, I'm going to address a couple more questions. I'm going to do another recap, and then I'm going to go eat my dinner because tonight is meatball sandwiches. Let's see. Uh, let's see, do we deal with Canada? We are not in Canada, and please do not recruit in Canada. Canada has travel laws and network marketing laws that are very restrictive, and if we start recruiting and selling travel in Canada, I could get in trouble and Evolution could get in trouble. So please, again, United States, Puerto Rico, uh, the Caribbean, Australia, uh, and again, we do have some UK people that we are supporting. But other than that, I, I really would caution you that we are not going to be able to provide the product support that is going to be really necessary for them, for those people to be real winners in this program. And I just, I hate to do that uh, and diminish their ability to be successful. Uh, give us some time. You know, we're still a young company. We're three years, we're three years old. Archer Travel may be you know, 1952, but Evolution and Archer is three years, and, and, you know, you guys are just doing outstanding as far as that's going. But, again, let's focus in where we really have our strengths so that we can show everybody that we really got our act together and we're really knocking it out of the ballpark. Um, now, booking from here to Canada, no problem. Piece of cake. But as far as recruiting in Canada, please, uh, I would refrain. Uh, Tony Moss Evans wants me to mention the travel trade show for the convention. We are going to have suppliers at the convention that will have a travel trade show so that you can meet and greet and talk to all the suppliers, not only from – uh, Expedia and Carnival and um, uh, Apple Leisure Group, but we're also going to have suppliers from, you know, folks like Pleasant Holidays and Go Away Travel and, and a number of, you know, we're trying to get as many suppliers into the travel trade show as we can. And I'm really excited about the response. Jill Langley's doing, doing a great job, but she's doing a bang up job for that. Uh, Let's see. All right, one more, and then I'm going to do a recap. Uh, good evening to my daughter in Spokane. Um, please call your brother, Robert, um, and just give Bobby a call. Um, let's see. There is a wait list at this time. Oh, Okay, somebody called me about Atlanta. There was a uh, somebody called me on Sunday and said that the people in Atlanta they they felt froze out because we only were able to accommodate fifty people. So um, I was supposed to talk to Jill Langley today, and I 
got busy and failed to do so. So um, I was going to talk to Jill about maybe getting a larger venue so that we could open up Atlanta to um, a larger group of people, 50, you know, for traveling back there. And, and the, the response has been overwhelming uh, as far as, you know, because people are driving in from, you know, two and three hours away. So um, I will, I will talk to Miss Langley and find out if there's any way that we can accommodate a larger group by getting a, a, a larger venue. Um, and um, Jill, if that's a bit more costly than, uh, um, then I'm probably going to have to bite the bullet. Um, uh, da -da -da. Yeah, you can absolutely book into Canada. Uh, pleasant holidays, fun jet, Southwest vacation. I mean, there's a number of the airlines that uh, will be able to service Canada. I'm sorry. I was thought. I, I thought you guys were talking about recruiting. Jill Langley tells me are that they, they are ahead of me and they're working on a larger venue. So kudos to you guys for being uh, being out in front ahead of me. Uh, MS uh, MSC Cruises. Love to have MSC Cruises at the convention. Um, Jill Langley I, is on this thread, so uh, I'm sure Jill will make a note of that. Uh, she's doing a hell of a job uh, with the supplier and the vendor relations, so kudos to Jill for that. Uh, and, yes, Jill is uh, supplier relations now, and uh, she is the one that will be uh, setting all the travel vendors up. Uh, okay, so just a quick recap. Number one, we are at about a we're at about a 95% growth rate on Carnival Cruises. I want to be over 100%. If we get to over 100%, which means you guys are going to have to book like 300 cabins in the next week that I'm going to give away a $1,500 credit voucher for Carnival Cruise in a sweepstakes. And everybody that has booked a cabin in the first quarter will have a chance. You book two cabins, you got two chances. You book 10 cabins, you got 10 chances. You book 30 cabins, you got 30 chances. So if you guys, if, if I want to see huge uh, growth participation. I really want to push Carnival for the next week. Get out there, tell your friends, tell your family. They got some great specials going on. Um, we will post that in the Travel Cafe tomorrow, uh, and we will do that, number one. Number two, Puerto Rico, we're closing in. We're going to be open up. Uh, I was hoping by the 1st of April. It will be early April. We will be open. Australia, I go down there um, on the 18th of April, and my goal is to be open with uh, staffing in there by the 1st of May. Uh, that's what I've committed to the folks down in Australia. Um, and we will, you know, my goal is to be open and operational uh, at that point. Um, let's see. Um, those are the big, uh, those are the big items. The convention is, uh, is open. Uh, I will, uh, I will uh, recap that. Also, I'm sorry, I will uh, find out about um, different rates for the convention uh, for guests that would not be attending. If it's a different rate, then they would be limited on what they could attend. Um, and other than that, all is going well. Um, so, I'm done. I'm out. Thank you all for the great work that you're doing. Uh, thank you for all the energy and the effort that's uh, going on. Remember, our Archer at archertravel.com. My direct line is 818-236-4250. Uh, the office number is 1-800-272-4377, and that spells 1-800-ARCHERS, A-R-C-H-E-R-S. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope you're all getting warm and dry and the sun's coming out and the flowers are blooming. And um, you guys have a great week. We'll be down next week. Uh, this coming weekend, we'll be down in Orlando for our retreat. And I look forward to seeing everybody that's down there. We still got spots available. If you want to come, I'm still financing it. 75 bucks down, 75 bucks for six months. It's $399. I got rooms uh, that we're going to have to pay for. So I'd love to have anybody that wants to go. Um, you know, we'll work with you. So give us a call at the office. Um, and again, thanks and bye for now.